Critical thinking is a skill that you develop over time, not something that you can expect to be proficient in immediately. Critical thinking involves examining claims that someone made and determining their likely truth. You will be using these skills throughout your life in a variety of situations. This could include critically examining claims in advertising, during your career in business, while designing science experiments, or while reading news articles. In this class, we have provided plenty of opportunities for you to practice critically thinking. You can do it in the no-stress environment of the formative assessments. You will do it in the low-stress environment of the worksheets. And this will prepare you to think critically in the high-stress environments of the tests. In order to think critically, there are several components. I will mention them here, but each component will have its own video. This will give you better access to help if you happen to be struggling with any topic. I recommend watching each component's video now and then reviewing them as you need to. To start thinking critically, we need to be able to identify the claim being made. Importantly, this claim might not be said explicitly, but rather it might be implied. When most people make claims, they back them up with evidence. So we need to be able to determine what evidence they are using in support of their claim. Once we do that, that's when we get creative. Critical thinking isn't just a reading exercise, it's a creative exercise. For the next two steps, the answers are not given in the text. You need to think them up on your own. And you need to be able to tell the difference between when you have thought up a good answer and when you haven't. The third step, is to think of other possible explanations for the evidence that they used to support their claim. Finally, it's our job to think of how they might test those explanations, and then to determine if their evidence is conv convincing enough for us, the discerning consumer. I'll cover each of those four areas, identifying a claim, identifying supporting evidence, thinking of alternative explanations, and testing those explanations, in their own videos. Please watch those now, and feel free to watch them anytime you need to.